Um, can't be mean to you today. No, you can't. That's the compliment off. <laughs> well, look, yeah, I, I, I found it so much harder to write this than to I did write nice I things about your co-host. Yeah, just because it's not. It, I think Ben. What, what was I saying the other day? You it's know, not in girl, your nature. No, nah, well. It's in my nature to be nice, but to give proper compliments, it seems weird. Like, you know, like, um, what I was talking to mates at work the other day and they were talking about, everyone talks about your fucking love language. And I'm like, what yeah. is this new fucking Yeah, the five, the five love languages. Have you never done the test? No, I know what mine is because I had it? to yarn all Words that. Words of affirmation. Fuck no. Physical That's touch. The, no. Qua- acts of service. Giving people, gi- yeah, acts of service, all right. Oh, is it gift giving? Kind of lingers. It's a shame it's gift giving because I never got a Christmas present from you. Yeah, I know, but that's why I organise with Marcus so heavily those gifts for you, the Bedwetter merch and the T-shirts and stuff. Marcus did that on his own. Marcus did a fair bit of it, but there was a fair bit of me in it as well. So the amount of petrol that you did use running around was I reckon, fucking, present? I reckon, I reckon, <laughs> made up for the cost of delivery and, and mm. creation. My, um, you'd think that mine is... Receiving gifts, which it, I love gifts, but it, mine, I think my number one is, I think it's quality time and words of affirmation. Oh, God. Which is weird because I get a bit yee when I get yeah, compliments. W- yeah, w- so it could be. I think be. it's when, when it's from someone you, you like are in love with. Oh, so you'll Sorry. love the ones I've got for you today. Oh. <laughs> 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 that would literally be like hooking up with my brother. But dude, this this is why it's going to be so awkward. I know. But but it'll be not like the things I've written are true, right? Yeah, but you've put a little twist on them. Nah, like not a twist. It's just it's just fucking weird to fucking say so many. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, uh, I prefer to do the roasting. A hundred percent. A few of mine I was writing, and then I was like, oh. These are slightly roasted yes, as well. S- same. I had to get rid of the roast because <laughs> yeah. oh, I was writing them and I was like, mate, do what you do. And my defence mechanism is humour. So I'm like, do what you do whenever you get a bit weird. Yeah. And just, I was naturally just putting mm. jokes at the end of them. I also wrote a few. I kept mine in though. So there's well, like you're not allowed to because it's a, it's a compliment well, it's off. still a compliment. Like you'll giggle. You'll take them as compies. Oh, see, mine are just fucking... No, mine is still really not like you're gonna throw up. <laughs> you're literally gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking forward to it. Um, I, I I have a um a big idea for the podcast. Uh, what? It's something that I think we could do in a couple of months' time when we're probably big enough to. Yeah. Okay, stop slipping your coffee like that. It's disgusting. What? You did that on purpose. That was right in my ears. No, can I just not drink my coffee and? Enjoy it in the morning. Stop <laughs> looking at me in the eyes when you do that as well. <laughs> like peering over the coffee, you little newt. Um, okay. Hey. What? Compliment Sorry, day. you little, <laughs> you, little cute, cute little. Cute, you little cute. Cute, cute little yeah, yeah. newt. Yep. Um, your chin looks very large today. Thank you. So do your tits. <laughs> a grand plan yeah. of like I think it's I think it's time soon that we sort of you know perhaps try and take we mean well on the road yeah I agree and what better way to do it yep than Kevin's first road trip what so we take Kevin around Australia and just like visit pubs <laughs> and like have dinner with him oh and then like bedwetters come they get to meet us and they get to meet Kevin. And he's never seen the sights. He's he? never seen the roads. This well, is, he's been here once, so he's been back and forth to Rose Bay. This is getting scary, buddy. This is becoming a problem. A Kevin, Kevin's road trip. You, Kevin's first road trip. You not have, just a road trip. You've put more photos up of you and Kevin. Um, 
I would assume than you've ever put up of any of you and any boyfriend you've ever had. <laughs> like, this is becoming is a it? real fucking issue, mate. Do you think people are sending it between group chats, being like, "This girl's insane." Don't think you're that important, but like, I oh. think that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Are we just getting the roast out now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, before we get to the compliments? We're going to have to overcompensate with being proper fuck to each other before we get to being nice to each other. This is uh, what modern day people would probably call a toxic relationship. 100%. 100%. People would watch some of the video. Well, they do. They comment being like, God, he's mean to her or whatever. Yeah, but not I'm like, the fuck up. shut up. Like, we're two really good mates having a laugh. Correct. Let us be. Yeah, it's also not like, I'm just swinging on you and you're not throwing fucking uppercuts, yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm fucking, us, us. You are missing my chin when you throw uppercuts because it's easy to miss, but still. <laughs> Nothing there. Yeah, but, um, yeah, look, as, as much as I give you shit, I'm not adverse to the idea. I've always wanted to do, I've done probably less of Australia Mm. my favourite country in the whole fucking world than I have done of the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I've been to Europe a couple of times. I've done America. Fucking been to New Zealand a fair few times. And I've only... Oh, no, I've been to the West Coast now when I went to the UFC in Perth. But there's a lot <coughs> of exploring to do. Correct. I haven't you been get to the a ter- caravan. Yeah. Oh, but a lot of scary wildlife. My friend oh, just right. went camping and they were on... They had one of those roof tents on top of the car. Yeah, yeah. And, oh yeah, roof tent makes sense. And um, what are they called? Liquid lizards, like those big fucking huge ones. Goannas. No, it's there's a word for water it. dragons. No, uh, liquid lizards. Oh, hang on. She texted me the name of it. Hang on. Wait. Ice monitors, like a monitor. Uh, that is that's feeling warm. Monitor is like the this. I think the species. Yeah. Is, yep. It's a monitor lizard. Yeah, monitor. A mo- but I believe a goanna is a. It's that climbed on their fucking roof. Yeah, it's a lace monitor. And so they slept in the car because they were so scared. They should have caught the cunt and cooked it. No, they're very dangerous. They can claw you to death. No. They can. They they're can't. very dangerous. What kills you with lizards like that is the bacteria in their mouth. They bite you. They've got a mean... I got bit by a water dragon the other day, remember? Oh, yeah. When I was with your there mates. There was a baby one. No, it wasn't. It was a big one. Oh. That and thing's a big mama. The, the only concern... I've literally been scraping shit. That was about... Two or three months ago, and I've been scraping shit out of my f- under my fingernail that was still there from the from the bite. I cleaned the fuck out of it because the, when they bite you, the bacteria is so fucked that it causes infected, can cause gangrene and shit. What's gangrene? It's like a flesh eating disease. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> like, so with Komodo dragons who are of the same family, I don't think they're monitors, but I, I, I'm not sure about that. We'd have to Google that. But <clears throat> the way that they kill a lot of their prey is they'll sneak up, bust, bite it on the leg, track, say, track the fucking deer or whatever the fuck it is mm-hmm. for three days and eventually the deer will just drop because the, the bacteria has gone through its system and fucked it up and then it'll just eat it alive. Some animals are very smart. But guanas and monitors and shit aren't even – they'll fuck off as soon as they see you. They're not going to attack No, it was, they were ch- it was chasing after them. It, can you imagine being sound asleep, about to go to bed, it, got your be, eye mask yeah, on, it'd be scary. and it's climbing up your tent? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could kill it pretty – you just grab it by the tail and They slept around. in the car. Did I would, they? I would have said drive me back to Sydney, thanks. Yeah, you would have. So probably probably won't do an old Australian no, tour. We'll no, no, no. I, I can camp. I'm a camper. Okay. No, I've been done camping multiple times. I had a boyfriend back in New Zealand and... No, you no. <laughs> When I was like 19 and he was a real farmer. I think he had a pig and a... We did have a pig and a cow farm. It's not very nice. That's, and oh, sorry. No, keep the roast to yourself. Yeah, fair. And we'd go camping and we like cooked fucking like salmon bagels in like a cave. Like lit a fire in there. And Sounds I was very, like a, very bush. And I, no, it was... <laughs> And we Where sleep, are the, like, the capers? You forgot the fucking capers. Sorry, darling, I'll just duck to the 7-Eleven. Salmon bagels with no, fucking we cream can, cheese and capers in a cave. You can eat gourmet when you're camping. You don't need to just have oh, no, it's just you, Tim Spam. You rarely have Tim Spam. Yeah, but anyway, we went camping multiple times. And okay. I was great. Yeah, okay. But then again, Lou, you just gave me the opposite of that when you said if a lace monitor or a guana... Mm. Was the cry, you'd say we need to go back to Sydney now, so that gives me mixed well, signals. To be look, honest, perhaps not back to Sydney. Say we were two and a half hours away. Perhaps just to the nearest motel. What are you doing for Easter? Got nothing. I've got a hens. 
Oh, you got a hens. Yeah. We go camping every um, Easter. Where? Oh. Just outside of Wild. Well, we usually go to Cove and there's like Dan. 50 of you, right? Yeah, it's a big mob. Steph's been. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And but we go in because Copeton's so full. The water, it's Copeton's a dam outside of Inverell. Um, It's so full that apparently it's all fucking booked out and there's fuck all camping there. So we've got a place just outside of Wilker. It's like 15 min- minutes away from home called East Lakes. And so we go there, which Steph likes better because she doesn't like to stay overnight. She doesn't like to camp. So she'll just go home with mum and we'll all stay out there. Shut up. Not joking. She goes home. Yeah. Like, a, like an eight-year-old. Like an eight-year-old. I'm like, just stay To be here. fair, if I was there with her, I'd probably end up leaving. <laughs> I think you'd have too much fun. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't, like, my only thing is, is that I'd probably want, like, a blow-up. I definitely want a blow-up mattress and, like, my doona and Kevin and my eye mask. Yeah, you'd probably go home with Steph. <laughs> 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 I was going to say, if you weren't doing anything for Easter. I could come. That'd be a time to get you up to the farms. Well, we are going to the farms in May. Correct. And we're going to get... Really drunk one night, and then Jarch's dad's going to have a whole day's, day's work. work for us the next day. Yep, and we'll film the content. It's been a hard day's night. Get it, girl. But I've been working like a dog. <laughs> uh, I'm happy to do – well, we have um, an offer from the Collie Pub that when the Renos are done, we're going to go there and do a yep, that can live be tour. Kevin's first uh, uh, trip. Live podcast, so I dare say that might even be our first stop, and yep. then we could just can maybe build it around that. Yep, you know what I mean. Do a little tiki tour, a little regional tour. We'll have to get Kevin a um, seat for the car. We won't, buddy. He can go in the fucking boot. Actually, we'll strap him to the front so he can eat all the bugs because they love bugs, koalas. Not my Kevin. Yeah, you're not Ke- my Kevin. Your Kevin. Loves- not my Kevin. <laughs> your Kevin loves bugs. Last night I was watching. The season two of Sex Life. Yeah. Have you seen the first one on nah. Netflix? Nah. Absolutely bawling my eyes out. Kevin was soaking wet. Was he? Yeah, his face was wet. Because I don't know what it was. I was so emotional yesterday. Like, this is, I hands down, like, it's a, it's a shit series, but it's just an easy watch. Like, it's so addictive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <coughs> the acting is atrocious. True. Like, they're honestly like, no, don't leave. Don't say something about my acting. Oh, fuck. She can pick me now. I, I knew was it was li- coming. <laughs> I was about You're about to go, oh, so you're the lead character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, geez, that's the best acting. I'm smart know. today. Back yeah, off. you are good. You fucking switched on today. Yeah, but oh my God, the last two episodes just like bawling my eyes out. Really? Absolutely bawling. And then my housemate, I finished it. The end was amazing. Exactly what I mentioned. But Kevin was soaking wet. And I walk out into the lounge and she's like, why are you crying? And I go, I just... And she films me. I'll send it to you. Or well, put it on the way mean well. <laughs> Fuck me. No, she's going, what, why are you crying? And I go, I just finished Sex Life too. Like full wet bawling. Yeah, I saw this. You did, your, your face did look wet. Looked like yeah. you dunked your head in a fucking bucket of water. I was crying. Dude, I... It's not even like a show to get you that teary. Like, people are messaging me being like, are you all good, mate? But girls love to cry in movies and that because... Like, I, I'm not a movie crier. Mm. I'm not a movie crier. Now, in saying that, if I've had a real belter, I can get... I can, I can feel things. What movie makes you cry? The other day, after I'd had a fair bit on. So, few days every in a weekend? Row. No, no. As in the weekend just been when you said you weren't drinking and then you went out Thursday, Friday, Saturday till 4 a.m. every night? Not that Sunday? Different one. Sorry. Carry on with your story. <coughs> yeah, it was. I think it was that Sunday. Put on the blind side. Sandra Bullock. The movie about oh, fucking... I haven't seen it. Michael Orr. Yeah, it's a tremendous film. But it'll tug at the heartstrings. <coughs> and when I'm in a state of vulnerability like that, because I've just... I feel like I can remove myself from movies emotionally. Yeah, you can go. It's not So real. I'm just like, it's a fucking movie. Like, I'm not going to cry at a movie. But then if I'm in a vulnerable state and I've got Bevan next to me, which is my bear, Kevin, Bevan, uh-huh. and I'm watching something like The Blind Side, there could be a, there can be watering of the eyes. A few tears. No, no tears. None Just have ever dropped down the cheek. Welling. But I can well, and then I'll go, <clears throat> better make a bloody coffee or bloody get a bloody... Uh, oh, Just let check, the tears flow. Check the frigging emails, mate. Yep. Oh, the emails let are the bloody tears going flow, good. Let Jack. Yep. <laughs> It's 2023. <laughs> Speak about your feelings. Let the tears flow. Nah. 
I'm not usually much of a movie crier. So I don't know why that series, like, trust me, you'll watch it and you'll call me going, there's something not right with you. Yeah, okay. It's like, not really that worthy of tears. Yeah, right. And I was like, it wasn't even just like welling. Like, it was like full, like, tears streaming down my face. It's the odd ones that can get you. Yeah. And also I'm obsessed with the main actor. Um, He's actually an Australian. Uh, What's his name? Adam Demos, I think. Don't know him. Oh, he's a good looking roost. Is he? Yeah. Did he die? Don't I'm, I'm sh- yeah, sorry. Spoilers. Yeah, fair. And then he's actually in real life married to the other lead actress. Oh, true. Yeah, so it's just a lot Do of. Do they have sex worse. scenes? Well, it's called Sex Life, so you can imagine. Uh, okay, there's yeah. There's a fair bit of rooting. See, you want to know why that show would bore me to tears? Too much rooting. Yeah, and I'm not even joking. What do you mean? My mind has been so corrupted. Oh, I don't want to know. I don't want to go down this path. You're no, you going to say it's corrupted by porn. Yeah, that's correct. So when it comes to <clears throat> movies, I'm a fully grown adult. Yeah. So I've probably seen all that the 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 world has to offer. You know what I mean? Then when I'm in a movie and they start having like, like a you've watched it 24 hours of every day. <laughs> <laughs> I've done my fair share of research. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been researching for a fair few years. <laughs> so when it comes to movies. And the sex scene, I skip them because I'm like, oh, this is fucking boring. No, like, there's no point. It's in good to watch like their acting. Nah, it bo- it bores me. I I truly skip them. I feel like that's slightly concerning. Do you? Yeah. No, just I'm like, dude. I was watching the show 1923. To be fair, I did a bit of skipping in that show. It's like a prequel to Yellowstone. Mm. Harrison Ford and stuff. Some of the dialogue and stuff. I'm just like, this is fucking cheesy. So I'd just be skipping that. Mm. And then there was one scene where. This bird and this bloke are just sitting on a beach together, and I'm not kidding. It went for three minutes. I was skipping it. I'm like, are these cunts still doing this? This is not like just kissing on a beach. Just kissing on a beach. Well, they probably got the tip from the therapist from last week. She was getting the tip. Just hit. (laughs) And he wasn't a therapist, let me tell you. If you know what I mean. (laughs) What tip from a therapist? Oh, the passion. Yeah, Yeah, that. Did you and Steph give that a go? No. Just pass your two minutes at night time. <laughs> I did it with Kevin. Kidding. I'm That is a full blind job. That's why his face was so wet. I've been slobbering all over him. Just been practising my hook-up technique. Yeah, perfect. Do you have a, um, you know how like some, do you have like a technique when you kiss? I feel like most people sort of tilt. Yeah, I'm a tilter, of course. Yeah. Like you got to tilt. Imagine going in direct, imagine going in direct, directly. I've got a pretty pointy nose too, so if yeah. I went in directly, we'd just be bumping but nose. But do you know which way you tilt? You, As a man, you've got to make the move. You've got to go in there with a definitive – because if you go in there second-guessing, if you're going left or right, the bird, Ooh. she's going to second-guess left or right. So you just got to go, I'm going – which way do I go? I think I'm I, going right, I think. I go like this. Yeah, I'm that way. You go left. Wait, you go left. Yeah. Yeah. Are you left-handed? No. Nah. Why do I go left then? Yeah, Any boys I've pashed, perhaps DM us. Yeah. <laughs> Which way does Lou go? She go left? <laughs> <laughs> or does Lou go both ways? Mm. Do you go both ways? No. I you, feel like I, that feels you just unnatural. Go, you, don't, you wouldn't go both ways ever? Oh. <laughs> I see. No, I picked up on that one. Got no, it. you've got to go in there definitively. Mm. Um, otherwise, it can be really awkward. What also can be awkward is if you go in there quite definitively and you get brutally rejected. Yeah, they pie you. Yeah. That's you heard ha- that happen? Yeah, fuck yeah. How yeah. do you get so in the moment that you think, yeah, we're on and that they're thinking complete opposite? Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was on a date with this bird. She was like going pretty well. And... um. And uh, bloody, um, anyway. Yeah, so but you can think it's going well also. And then the other person's thinking the complete polar opposite. Yeah, no, but you can vibe a date, I reckon. Some people can't. Yeah, you'd be a pretty good actor on a date, I reckon. Like, and they'd think it's going well, but you actually hate them. 100%. This had gone well, though. And Most people in my life. I'm kidding. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but I, I'd actually had a really awkward encounter the morning before. I didn't know whether... She had seen this or not. So I had seen another bird oh, the you, night before. Have I spun this yarn here? Yeah, but tell it on the pod. And I'm driving and it's fucking the traffic's fucked. 
and I'm in my ute driving along and I've got the bird next to me in the passenger seat. I'm like, yeah, I'll drop you to the train station or whatever. Dropping her to the train station in peak hour stand morning still. traffic, standstill traffic, who was in the car directly next to me in, my, in the other lane? The bird who I'm going on a date with that night. You pig. What sort of fucking fate is that? So I literally just lean back. So this bird was blocking me. And then I was just trying to like orchestrate my movement. So I was never in line with her. And every time we get, I was just in line with her. And I'm like, I didn't know whether she'd seen or not. So I was had anxiety that day. Oh, I don't, re- I feel like you don't really look around and stand still. Because it's awkward, you can lock eyes. You know, if you go like that, you lock eyes with someone and it's awkward. Yeah. I reckon you might have been in the clear. I think I was. She didn't say anything. Yeah. After a few, you know, tequila sodas, she might have got a bit. But then she did reject me. Mm. Maybe but she then thought, we did, I'm going to take him out. We did hook out. up late. She, only, she rejected me because I was outside the pub. Like, you, when you think about it, of course she fucking rejected me. We're like waiting in the taxi. Oh, this shit makes me sick. For retelling it. You know yeah. what I mean? Gosh. It's a bit icky. Yeah, well, mate, it's just like you're thinking about it. Okay. Um, and we're in like the waiting for a taxi or whatever. We're in the cab rank and we're just yarning. And then I just go in for it. Help. And she goes, she goes, what? She goes, what the fuck are you doing? And I go, oh. What? And she's like, I'm not fucking kissing you in a cab in a cab rank. And I was like, oh, why? And she's like, dude, no, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and to be fair, I was like, that's that's a good point. But I got My- I got it back in the in the cab of all places. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just not the right moment. Maybe she just wanted to reject you. And then hilariously, she must have like been kicking herself the next day when I dropped her off home. So we got a little passion when I was dropping her off. And I was like, all right, have a good night. She goes, okay, love you. <laughs> and I'm like, I know she's just slipped up and cooked that. Like, you know, because it's the first date. I hate when you awkwardly say things it's like, like that. that don't, mate. I once, a guy, like I was at the beach with him, like we were just, just friends, but he was talking about how the next day he had his like family Christmas on Bok. Oh, it must have been like just before Christmas. Anyway, he was saying he had it the next day. And then he was like, we'll catch up on the day after that and have drinks. I was uh, like, yeah, sweet. And then so I, I left and I go, anyway, like let me know what your plans are tomorrow. I'll pop in. And then I walked away and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> he's going to think that I'm like inviting myself to his yeah, family oh, like yeah. Christmas. So then <laughs> yeah. I went out of my way to text him and be like, hey, like, by the way, I didn't mean, I, I mucked up. I met the day after. And he was like, yeah, I was kind of like, a bit, bit itch. You're like inviting herself to my family Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I it's pass just like out. a weird... Yeah. Your brain can just cook it. Some mine does it a lot. Do you know what I love on like a date though is when you like because if it's going well, you kind of stay in one spot for a while and then you move to another location. Yeah, that you reckon? Yep, yep, Remember yep. that date that I went on? Where I went to Charlie Parker's and got like wasted, and then went to yes. the place you go, uh, uh, Shady, Shady Pines. Pines. So like we left there and like we'd been getting on really well, whatever, and then we like. Left to, and then it was like, oh, should we go somewhere else? I was like, yeah. I feel like that's always the spot you first pash. Yeah, and so yeah, we yeah. were like outside, like the main road by Charlie Parker. It's just like, just turning, just, yeah, just head left, pash. Yeah, bro. Like main road. Yeah, mate. Like Nine p.m. on a Tuesday, mate. People are driving on cars. a Tuesday. Oh yeah, bro. That's like fucking. That's like some eighteen-year-old shit. Yeah, that's the one that remember that they forgot the food. That's why I got so Oh, drunk. yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Fuck, oh, that's cool. that was a it was a big old evening. How many dates have you been on lately? Not many. Haven't you? Why? Oh, I went out for yeah. went to dinner on Friday night. With who? Just a guy. Who? What's his name? <laughs> Just this guy who asked me out on a date. Oh, true. What's his yeah. name? Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah well, so I mate. was at Bar Toddy's with Kevin was sitting opposite me. Oh, nice. Yeah. What's Kevin like? Fairy. So the date went well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fairy, big eyes. Yeah. Endangered. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Always stoned? Yep. Yep. Vegetarian, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, pescatarian. He's gone grey. He has gone grey. Hasn't he? Yeah, it's okay though. You yeah. can die that. Yeah. You know? Or just let it happen. Mm-hmm. I'm letting mine go. You're, getting, you're going to. Uh, you're going well, to go I'm never going to dye my fucking hair. 
I was at the hairdresser the other day and bumped into one of your friends and one of my friends, and he said, Bloke? "Yep." And he said, "I said I was getting my hair done. Who? I'm not telling you. I tell you off here." Tell me off And he goes, "Oh, just getting the greys touched up." He was open about it. He told me about it. I respect that. I just, I just can't be bothered. I don't care. Pisser. <laughs> Beep that if you can hear any of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. Yeah. On brand for him. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, Franco gets his greys dyed. Dude, nothing wrong with it. I just, I just think it's too much admin for me, especially how much females have to spend on their fucking hair all the time. They're doing like three. If you're blonde, it's very expensive. It can be like five hundred bucks every time. Yeah, mate. Like, I just, I don't care enough. Mm. You know what I mean? Also, is there some really hot um, grey foxes? Yeah, George they're... Clooney. We well, yeah, I mean, I'm no Clooney, but um, I'm just gonna who's the <laughs> finance <laughs> Australian guy? Mark Boris. He's a good looking roost. Yeah. He is stunning. Yeah, yeah. Like, he is hot. Yeah, mate. Sorry, like, too far. No, no, <laughs> not at all. I agree about with it. you. Boris, he's, he's got a bit about him. This, yeah, something about him. I've done a bit of work with him before when we were doing Streets of Sydney. Have you? And let me tell you, just it as charming like, as he is. Yeah. Like, he seems, he's like the George Clooney of Australia. Fucking oath. Yeah. Tag him in this. Post it. Yeah. Were well, you keen on Boris? No, no. I just mean he's got a good charm about him and he's a good-looking man. Yeah, he is. You know, but he can – they can – they're – you've just named two of the top great stunners of all time. Yeah. I'll probably just age I way think more. you'll age well. I haven't yet already. You look younger than 33. I'm starting the compliment off. Oh, is this <laughs> what we're doing? In, nah, I don't. Should we, should we should do we, it? Yeah. I just want to get it over and done with. Who's going for – should we rock Let's off? Let's rock off. God. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, out of three or one? one? Uh, out of one. Paper, scissors, rock. Just to one. Oh, did you say out of three? No, I said to one. Did she? Oh, true. Who okay, so I'm going first. I almost... Ugh. Oh, fuck. Let me just adjust myself a little bit. All right, bedwetters. This is the... Um, as we do our traditional roasts. Which there will be roast part three coming soon. We thought we would do something that is way harder for us and do this compliment off. So we've got to... <laughs> I'm reading it already. <laughs> Fuck me, swinging. You know what's going to be awkward if yours is like so nice? It is. Then, no, but, but then mine's just like average. So then you've like been beautiful and I'm just like... Ugh. Yeah, this is... I didn't know how to gauge this. I think mine are pretty nice. All right, fuck it. Let's just rip it. Let's just rip the band-aid off. Eat the frog, as they say. <sighs> Lou, <laughs> <laughs> you look stunning today. Well, you hadn't even seen me, but sure. But you always do because oh. of your bone structure. You want to know what I love about you? Your generosity. You're a tremendous gift giver, and you're very thoughtful. You care for your friends and family so much, and you put them first always. Your altruism knows no bounds, Lou. Can I also say you're one of the funniest people I've ever met. You make me laugh every time we hang out, and that's, that's a lot. We hang out a lot, and I'm always laughing. <sighs> Your personality shines through in all social situations, and I could place you in a room with whoever, and I know you'll be completely sweet because you're so person personable, and you have an infectious demeanour. <laughs> So many of these words Have in you? mind. Fuck me. Coming from someone with a poor fashion sense, yours is great. I can't wait to see the next outfit you so effortlessly put together. <laughs> put it this way, Lou. If the fashion police were walking your beat, you'd be getting a ticket, all right. Yeah, a ticket to the next fashion show. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> Lou, you're great at spinning yarns and you have become one of my best mates. And I consider myself very lucky I get to do with this with you weekly. So you keep doing Lulu. You keep doing you, Lulu. <laughs> there we go. That's not my God. Be with uh, this for life. Anyone got a fucking brush? A scrub? And some fucking soap? Yeah, go on. Thank you. It was really kind. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're okay. still a man. Okay. Jachi, your laugh was one of a kind that could cheer up an entire cemetery. <laughs> it was so bright. <laughs> Started realising that they were a bit roasty. No, I like it. See, this sounds like a roast, but I'm just easing into it. 
really get you feeling uncomfortable now. Mm-hmm. You don't let anything affect you. You're well aware not everyone is going to like you, so you just get the fuck on with life and authentically yourself, which is why you've gotten so far in life. Thank you. You light up a room with your infectious funny personality. (laughs) (laughs) You are unapologetically yourself and won't be afraid to speak your mind or have your own opinion. You stick up for your loved ones like no other. You're a great support to all those around you and go above and beyond for the ones you love. You are an incredibly hard worker. No amount of whiskey will stop you getting shit done. (laughs) You are the best driver and make Lulu feel safe when watching trees and cars and buildings. You're a wonderful sounding board and a great friend whenever anyone needs advice. Your wit and humour is like no other. You are very talented the way you can come up with jokes on the spot. Smart (laughs) Jarchi. I feel very blessed to have this podcast with you because we bring out a weird side to each other which makes for one of the best friendships I've ever had. I'm very grateful we were able to transfer this to a podcast that for some reason people listen to. You're a top bloke, Jarchi, and I love you. Bed winners for life. Bed winners for life, buddy. Hey, that was nice. <laughs> that was nice. It's a nice change of pace. It was. Now I feel I don't really know where to go from here. You're a cunt. <laughs> Roast 3.0. Yeah, 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 I've got that ready. You ready? Now we're going into the roast. No, that was, that was lovely. That was I mean, nice. everything that I said. Now. Me too. Don't know if we'll be doing too many more compliment offs. I think we've done it. I think one's fine. I think that's fine. Just like, let's just go back to normal now. Yeah. It was nice. Change of pace. Right. So what are you, Ben, what are you looking up to? Uh, do you ever get, do you ever find that, um, what's the deal with, Rollerblades, uh, yeah. man. Just four, four, four wheels. Four wheels. Just rolling. They roll the skates. <coughs> red light, green light? Mm, perhaps, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rock into red light, green light, shall we? Right, what little uh, fucking theme have you got for us for red light, green light? Red light, green light. Uh. It was reggae. Was it? Oh, what did you think it was? Like Spanish something? Oh, oh well, you could have been. Do a reggae. Do a Jamaican. Hey, man, did the make on the Bob Marley with like the ganja? Oh, they came across a little Indian. <laughs> Didn't it? Not my intention. Every time mum does an Irish accent, it comes across as Indian. <laughs> You've told me that before. I? Every single... But I think every time she does it, any accent, she's just got this broadly... this. Really broad accent. Yeah, and you're like, mm. I'm like, Mum. Sounds kind of like me as well. All mine seem to sort of merge into one. They do. Wouldn't mind doing the characters again soon. Yeah. Yep. We can definitely do that. Friday's podcast. Yep. Friday. You got one? Yeah. Red light, green light. Man buns. Oh, shit. Well, what do you what do you mean, like, like just a bloke with long hair and tied it up? Yeah. I mean, fuck. It is what it is. Green. Yeah. Fuck. I'm it. green too. I, I think I'm not like, telling anyone how to hold their, have their hair. Remember when like Hanson had their long like nineties hair? Hey. Get around it. Some but, people but really they pull had it, it off. Like skaters. No, n- oh, I think I'm more meaning blokes with long hair and then tying it up. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a man bum. I used to I have mean. hair past my shoulders. I used no, to tie you didn't. it up. I promise you. No, you didn't. I swear to God. Why have I never seen a photo? Um Is it curly or is it straight? Quite straight. My brother had dreads like down to his like chest. Really? Yeah. Like, so long, he was a reggae man. Long blonde dreads. Oh, long blonde dreads. Until he was like nineteen to his like chest. Bleds. He had bleds, man. Jill hated them, but she did save one dread. Did she? Yeah. She's probably still got that. Do you know what I found? I, I wonder if she saved some of Toby's hair. I hope not. Toby's dead. Toby's dead. <laughs> I I um. I went home the other day and opened a little box that I got where I keep little trinkets and shit and found an old rat's tail of my hair oh. that's still plaited. Not a rat's tail. Fuck, I thought you meant like an actual rat. I was no. like, that's no, no, no. bit old. Like what I used to have, it's like a plaited rat's tail with, and it was a blonde, had a blonde tip. Yeah, buddy, not good. Mm. Um, Green to the man bun. Yeah, fuck it. Green, like, some people look really good with it. Yeah, mate. My mate Jimmy, big Jimmy um, Simons. He big J. Big J. Big J. Big J money. Mate, he... Um, He's been rocking the man bun for as long as I know. Really? He's one of my best mates. I can't be dissing it. Okay, yeah. He'd it is what it is, mate. Fuck you. Um, fucking, um, 
Had one sent through by Tamsin Steel. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Tamsin, great bedwetter. When mums put pretty face filters slash makeup filters on their babies. Red? Just let the baby Just be let the baby, baby be, yes. Doesn't need. Take the words right out of my mouth. Fucking big anime eyes and fucking eyelashes and shit. Just let them be a cute little baby. You know what I mean? Not you that I think baby babies one. are cute, but. They are. No, nah, I don't To be fair, cute. cutest, when they're like. Toddlers. No, like one to three months, some of them can look a bit. Mate, I look like bit. a fucking alien. Six months is adorable. No, I disagree. No, trust me, Tor's sister's baby. I know, darling. He's like six months. He is the cutest thing you've ever seen. Yeah, more for I think women more find that. I, I, I but I, you'll you'll toddlers, have a baby. Toddlers, when they start, to, yeah, no, and I won't. I've already. You, you will have a baby, and you will hell. think it's the cutest thing in Dumb. the world. It's like a, an extra af, 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 aphemone, aphirium. What's that word? You know the one where it like you. Af- I don't. Oh fuck! Don't make me af- aframin, afram, aphomium, afram. You know the word, and it's you like. You know what the fuck she's talking about? Uh, what, what are you? What is it, Dale? Oh fuck! Aframone, Af- aframin. You mean pheromone? Af- pheromone. Oh my days! It was so wrong. I didn't even know that. Pharo- pheromones. You, you reckon that? But no, no, no. I won't. Because objectively, will. I don't. Your pheromones will get you. I asked Dad this because we were having this argument at home. He said he hated you I was until look- 33. Yeah, he said, no. yeah. Red light, green light. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just don't reckon I'll find my – I've looked at baby photos of all of us. I see babies all the time. I'm just like, I don't find them. They look like middle-aged small men. They're balding with no teeth. And I'm just like, I'm just like, I don't think I'll find it cute. I'll love it to death, but I'm not going to find it cute. And he goes, mate, he goes, I saw you. He's like, you look like a fucking – Rat and I'm like, I exactly. No, but it's like until they start talking a little bit, no, and they can start fucking with you. When it comes out, you'll be obsessed with it. And nah, think it's bro. so cute. Nah, you are. Well, I'm gonna be there in the birthing suite. I hope not. <laughs> 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 but yeah, red to that. Um, Babies don't need filters, will they? Yeah. Red light, green light. Long blacks costing the same as a milk coffee. Whoa, what? Why? Does that make sense? What do you mean? Like a cappuccino? Like, yes, yeah, so it costs the same as a long black. <clears throat> so who cares? Red. Why? What? So you pay the same price for a cappuccino as you would a long black where well, there's no fucking milk in it and you do nothing to it but drip some fucking coffee into it. Jeepers Christ. I'm passionate about it. it and okey-doke. ice long blacks costing like fourteen fifty. No. It's fucking ice. Where the fuck Just are you going? Rose Bay. Okay, yeah. Fair, fair call. Literally, we, we got Four. two coffees the other morning. Yeah. And it was like $15. Fuck off. I'm sorry, just because it's got fucking ice in it means that it's costing me an arm and a leg and I need to save up my life savings for it. Just sell your rolly. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree with you, Lulu. It's just frozen water. Why what do the they cost different? so much? What's different? $15 for two. That's seven that's, fifty. That's criminal. That's criminal. Yeah. What, that's you, two long blacks, basically. What, and a cappuccino costing the same as a long black. So, yeah. You're adding milk to it, and that's pricey milk lab milk. So you, so you think that long blacks should be cheaper, essentially? Yeah. Well, I think all coffee should be cheaper. I remember the days when they were $4. Now you can't go a place without it being five sixty. It's fucking bullshit. I'm fucked off about the ice long blacks. Any baristas listening? Well, let's just do tell it. me why the cost costs more with ice. Yeah, it's a load of hot cock. It's I because it's start, trendy. That's why. I might just start BYOing ice. Let's say a coffee costs you five sixty. Let's say you have a coffee a day. Don't tell me how much I'm spending. It's two grand a, a year on coffee. Hey Nespresso, want to send us a machine? <laughs> yeah. Or DeLonghi? Yeah, or um, Lorenzo N- Nescafe. No, oh. it's <laughs> <laughs> isn't Nescafe that bunny that's like an a like pink drink? No, no that's Nesquik. That's Nesquik, Sorry. dude. One of the great fucking Australian pasta. Nesquik is for fucking children and tastes like shit. Uh, Oi, woo! Blasphemy, blasphemy! You watch your fucking tone. You watch that fucking Do you tone. drink this? Oh, you drink the pink one, the strawberry one. I used to. And I love the vanilla Milo. malt one, vanilla malt, the fucking banana one. Mate, just used have to a freeze Milo. Them, and I was like having a banana paddle pop stick. 
but you, paddle pop, without, but without the stick. Yeah, and I use nah, I eat it with Milo's a spoon. the goat. I'd t- tongue Milo out of the tongue out of the tub. It, I'd pour it into my mouth as a fat eight year old. I'd be like scuttling it. It surprises me you like Milo more because Nesquik's a lot sweeter. You know, Milo what I mean? is like not it's that got a bit sweet. of texture as well to it though. Yeah, Milo you know what's fucking cream. delicious. Milo on cereal. Ooh, I want wheat bix, real soggy ones Milo with Milo. And wheat bix. Never had it, but I just made up in my head. Oh, right. But I used to have it when I was younger, not that, but cereal with it, it, Lou, Lou, slow the fuck down here. Sorry. Slow down. I think the coffee's hit me. Just I don't think that's weak. Sorry, I mean I've never had wheat bix with Milo. Yeah. I think it would be absolutely delicious and I might have it for breakfast when I get home. But I'm saying when I was I'm younger, you a bit, yeah. I would have neutral grain with Milo. But I wouldn't tell Jill and Franco. They'll just be finding this out now. Not the reason that I was a fat eight-year-old is because you'd look away and I'd pour <laughs> Milo on my cereal. Milo on your Nutri-Grain. Which is already sugary enough. It is. Milo wouldn't be that sugary, but surely. It's just straight sugar. It Lugol. Is, it's not straight sugar. Lugol. Milo How many grams cream. do you think's in it? Oh, fuck me. I've got no fucking idea. How sugary is Milo? 4.5 teaspoons of total sugar in a glass of Milo oh, milk. Oh, shit. It's fucking sugary, little bitch. Weird, because it's not that fucking sweet, is it? It. Uh, sorry. It's, but it's not that. It is sweet. It is sweet, but it was definitely the more, the less sweet option than having Nest Quick on your ice cream Why Milo. was it, like, paired with kids doing sport? Same with great, neutral Great grain. Uh, positioning. Great marketing. In the Wheat Bix triathlon. Did yeah. you ever do that? Well, Wheat Bix is like, you know. Pretty fucking. There's no sugar in wheat. I bix. love wheat bix. Yeah. How many's too many? None. Yeah, Never I, have too many. Well, how many do you have? Four, and I lather it in milk, and I wait till it goes soggy as fuck, and then it's just mush. Yeah, yum, I liked yum. it soggier. But I'd pour so much fucking sugar on it that it was like having cocoa pops. I have yoga and um, banana with my wheaties. Enthralling stuff. Uh, now, what have we got? Red light. You got another one? <laughs> Wasn't that me? Oh. I, we, we, we went on a tangent from the coffee. Yeah. So it's oh, turn. it's my turn. Red light, green light. Dogs sleeping in bed with you. And let me preface, I don't mean like a really ugly man or a woman. I mean a canine. Red. <laughs> Sleep in your little bed on the floor. I'm orange. It's, it's just setting bad rules. It is setting bad, bad rules. Bad discipline. It is. It is bad discipline. But if I'm, if I'm fucking hungover... And I need a Kevin, and I've got a big chocolate lab who wants mm. to come and just have a snug. That lab's snugging. That lab's snugging. I, I, I already know it's a very well-trained dog. I know if I tell it to fuck off, it'll fuck off. If I tell it to sit, it'll sit. If I tell it to disagree. roll, it'll roll. I had someone come over to my house the other day with their cute little dog. Mm. Adorable dog. What's it a dog? Uh, a long-haired Jack Russell. Okay. Um, and the she is adorable. Uh. She started jumping on my brand new white linen doona. Yeah, give it a little smack. Well, she was just running around. I couldn't get her off. But that's your friend's problem for he not training that dog. He didn't do anything about it. I don't think he could hear me yelling at her to get off. Oh, right. He's going to hear this now. Who, who? What's his name? Kevin. Gotcha. Same Kevin from Toddy's. Different Kevin. <laughs> you know two, a few Kevins. Yeah, I, yeah, oh, right. Two Kevins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah rad, big rad, rad man. Yeah. The radder, they yeah, call Yeah, the him. big rad. Yeah. Because he's got a fucking... So, yeah, I just think dogs on beds, it's just not a thing. Sorry. <laughs> um, dogs on beds, not a thing. It's just, put them in their little thing. Couch, I'm orange for, but Toby was very well trained and Toby never went anywhere but... Well, the, the little cunt couldn't have got up anywhere. Hey, Toby can jump. His legs were like fucking two inches long and he's... He no, you could go, Toby, and get him like on the couch. W- wombat. With rubbers Let's for legs. Let's not speak illy of the deceased. Illy. Toby's dead. Illy. Don't speak illy of the deceased. Illy. Don't speak the Australian rapper of the deceased. No, isn't it illy? Don't speak ill. Oh, sorry. That's all right. You've been drinking. But just... <laughs> coffee. <laughs> just be careful what you say about Toby. Yeah, It's I'm still just... fresh. Like, it was three months ago, Jack. Like, my dog of 13 years, Toby, is dead. And yeah. it won't hit me till I go back to New Zealand. It was three months ago. Like, a fucking... An eighth of his life. Total. I'm just saying corgis aren't known for their jumping ability, Lou. You don't Toby could jump. How, how high? We'd go sit, Toby stay, Toby high five for a schmacko, and then and then we'd go, Toby jump, and he'd jump for a schmacko. But, 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 he could get on this couch, let's put it that way. He could jump up here. It would take a little bit of effort, okay. but he'd get up there. Good to know. He'd get up. Good to know. 
Oh, I just need a bit of time now that I'm thinking about Toby. Yeah, RIP Toby. Do you want me to do another one while you just think of Tobes? It's sad he's dead. <clears throat> I had him for 13 years. Oh, no. This is spiralling. I could cry. Her eyes are watering a little. <laughs> a little bit sad. Um, Something said I might cry. Don't fucking cry. Don't. Don't. Lou. Oh, fuck. Don't cry. <laughs> Lou. Oh, good. Okay. So emotional oh, the last no. two days. <laughs> Um, okay, Ben Winners. We Sorry, I've got another red light, green light. It's okay. There we go. Not back. You're good there, bud? <laughs> okay. 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 I'll just give you a pat on the knee. Everything's okay. Toby's in heaven. Toby's dead. Oh, no. Toby is dead. Red light, green light. This is going to be really controversial. Yep. Friends, the TV series. Fucking great. Red. Oh. Red. Run me through that. Just never really watched it that much. I don't see the hype around it. Like, I'm sure it's an easy watch. It's kind of okay. It, no. I'd watch it every now and then. It, no, no, it's Red. not. It, sorry, Lou. I'm going to have to pull you up here. It isn't just an easy watch like your fucking bullshit little sex life fucking show. It's one of the greatest uh, TV shows of all time. I just never really warm to it. It's like when people are like, you must watch Gilmore Girls. I'm like, oh, i never done it. Yeah. Gilmore Girls, passable, fine. Friends, I know, Friends. I'm aware there's that great scene, pivot, pivot, when they're pivoting with the couch. But there's so many, there's a... Do you think this is the one thing that'll probably get me cancelled? Yeah. This is you done. Perhaps we cut this. I think we cut it. <laughs> For, dude, I only say this because Friends has given me so much friendship mm. through moments of my life where I needed it in terms of What's Sunday... It? Days on a couch. Happy upbeat show, right? Really helped me out. Really helped me through. It's it's tr it's truly a tremendous comedy. I just never got into it. I didn't get into it till a bit later. Like I watched a bit of I watch a bit of it. I'll sit down and go, oh, you're right, but I don't see the hype around it. Well, I I, I don't think I watched it through school. I think I got into Friends at uni. You know what so I mean? So you reckon I could still get into Fucking it? Fucking oath, you could, and you just drill it, and then because what happens is, you know how I met your mother. <laughs> you ever watched that? You thought I actually meant how I met Jill. I was going, <laughs> when the fuck did you meet Jill? Tinder. <laughs> I literally, if you watch the camera, you'll see my eyes go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jill? You, you were like, what the fuck? And what I, do you mean how you meet my mother? <laughs> Sorry. The show, How I Met Your Mother. Never seen it. Okay, so if you were to watch that now, you could be like, bit predictable, bit cheesy, right? Which it kind of was, but because you fall in love with the characters, mm. you overlook that and you just enjoy the show. So once Like Fresh you, Prince of Bel-Air. Exactly. Well, right. I liked that. I fucking love that show. Who was the um, waiter? Carlton. Yeah. Carlton? No, that was the son. Fucking, um, dude, what the fuck? How, Jeffrey. The, jo Jeff, jo Jeff, Jeff, Jeffrey? No. Jeffrey? Lugol. How have I forgotten this? I think it was Jeffrey. Dude, I've watched that series so many times. Um, what was he? Will Carlton, Uncle Butler. Phil. Fresh. That was Will Smith starting, right? Yeah. I used to get so stoned and watch that. And Jeffrey. Um, Jeffrey. It was and Jeffrey. I used to get, you know those boxes of um, chips? Like where you get all the individual packets and there's like 30 of them in the box. You know, like the big box of chips, you open them up and you got like little individual, like burger rings. Yeah. Fucking Cheetos, whatever. I used to get super stoned at uni. Just like a few bugs with the balls and then go off into my room and just sit in my dorm and just crack one of those big boxes open and just watch the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and, and eat the, the, entire box. the entire thing. Those give me a, um, a great memory of fat eight-year-old Lou. So oh, yeah. we would, um, mum would get home from the supermarket and she'd be like, um, like, kids, come help me with the groceries. And obviously I'd like sprint down, like bowl my brothers out of the way to see what snacks Jill would Shock fucking horror. And <laughs> then she'd get... She'd get like a packet of shapes and she'd get a packet of those chips and I'd open them up and we were all, I think it was a pack of 12, so we were each allowed four each and I'd go in and pick all the flavours I want. The boys would be like, no, oh, you've left the shit ones for us. And I'd be like, no, these are mine. <laughs> I just. Just grab all the salt and vinegar and all the barbecue. Oh, fuck, have them. And just put them, yeah. Salt and vinegar. And then I'd, I, I reckon 
there are a few times I'd grab an extra bag and pretend there were only 11 in there. I, uh, I can see. That's in your wheelhouse. My favourite memory is mum would be like, I can hear you in the pantry. What are you rustling around? What's <laughs> that? Like getting caught in the pantry. Like, <gasps> you, um, you would have been a force to fucking be reckoned with back then, I reckon. Mm-hmm. But I'm proud of you. Mm. Okie doke. Bedwetter hotline. Mm-hmm. My favourite part. Let's see what the Bedwetters have got for us, eh? Uh, g'day, fellas. Hey, um, Lou, I was really distressed to hear about these blokes standing out the front of your house. I was going to come down there and have a word to them. Um, can you let me know what your street name is and what <laughs> suburb you're in and what part, like what part of the sh- street I should stand on to s- see in the... W- where, where, where's the window? Where, where, where's your window? Uh, for, uh, b- boobs. <laughs> Fuck. That boobs. Is, b- boobs. Fuck, that that's is good. That's one of the great calls. Oh, fuck, it made me laugh. Holy oh, dooly. Oh, my God, that's amazing. That's if anyone hasn't heard the previous <sighs> podcast, there's um construction across the road from my house and the, like... It's not actually a crane. It's called an e- extrovert, excavert, excavator. 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 Fuck me, I've had a few <laughs> mares today. Um, and extrovert. they can look straight into my window, but the guy DM'd me saying that he couldn't see when yeah. I posted a story saying that I locked eyes with someone in that machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we'll just they leave that see. up to you guys. They, they can see that naked. They can see it naked. Um, next one. Let's see what we got. Boys, we're back. Chachi, Gianni's owner. All right, now, I'm just been thinking to myself, I've been giving this one a bit of a good practice. I just want to see what you guys think about my bird call, all right? I know you guys obviously fond of the them flying fuckers, but anyway, all right? <coughs> Woo. Well, come here, you little fuckheads! <laughs> That's what his bird call. Bird impression. That noise is bird call. Oh, so, so you think he's going to go like... <laughs> you, yeah, you can't. Yeah, really bad. <laughs> Roll your tongue. <laughs> it's fucking pathetic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. Sorry. That will be a really attractive shot. Come here. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Come here, you little fuckhead. That's <laughs> his bird call. The other day, Jarch and I filmed a um, TikTok, which has like... No relevance or meaning or anything to anyone but us. <laughs> it's just loud breathers. So we just... I think it's fucking funny. Just us in different scenarios breathing. You loud. sent it to you. I was pissing myself. I was crying. I, I made a bloopers reel as well. Oh, did you? Fuck, ya? it's funny. Send, shoot, shoot that to me too. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. Hi, Lou. Hey, Jart. Me and my partner have been potty lovers for a while now, and we know you guys love a good impression. So I live on a farm, right, and we have horses. So I've gotten pretty good at a horse call, you know, to be able to get the horses down up from the back paddocks, you know, so they come up for a feed. So I thought you guys would like it. Come here, horse. (laughs) 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 Two 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 very similar. That was unintentional. (laughs) I was waiting for like a real proper. I was waiting. Where does it so funny? Come here, horse. Come here, horse. (laughs) That's tickle me pink. No. Oh fuck me. God. No. (laughs) No. Oh shit! What have you started, Dal? What have you st- no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Okay. Oh, Jesus. All right. Let's see what else we got. How's it going, lads? Uh, this is uh, Ranger Fuckhead from Towns of Whoop Whoop. Um, <coughs> just wanted to put you on a bit of red light, green light. Uh, red light, green light. Thinking you pissed the bed. Trying to figure out how you missed the naughty. You haven't slept walked um, for. Hours and hours and hours, sleepwalking, thinking you piss the bed, wake her up, make a change of sheets with you, and wake up to find out there's no piss in the bed whatsoever. Yeah, red, green, light. Lou, fuck off. Cheers. Eat shit. 
<laughs> Never call again. <laughs> Luke, fuck off. Luke, fuck Asshole. Off. Also, I love that he was Ranger fucking. <laughs> from Townsville. Ranger what? fucking from Townsville, Townsville. Whoop, whoop. Um, also, so he's sleeping in separate beds to his partner because he had to sleepwalk and tell her that he <laughs> pissed the bed. I reckon he's been sent to the doghouse after a big night of boozing. It stinks of that, doesn't yeah. it? Um, that's a that's a grain for me. It's a fucking red. That's Change the sheets yourself, you little boy. He was asleep. It wasn't his fault. No, change the sheets yourself. And fuck you. <laughs> Telling me to fuck, fuck off. off. God, that shit's funny. All right, last one. G'day, bedwetters. Fucking Prince of Perth here. <laughs> now, Jack, you got a bit of a fucking question for you. You had said that you'll be doing two episodes a week when you no longer have to work full time. So now that there's two episodes a week, does that mean you're doing as much fuck all as Lou? <laughs> anyway, I would appreciate the answer. Kiss on. Unfortunately, my brother, um, not yet. But there will be a stage where I'll be doing We're going to have so much fun when you do. Yeah. I know. Imagine the content we're going to film. I know. Like the, the loud breathing one will be us, but even weirder every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm still kicking. I'm still working. I'm still got, you know. Yeah. I need money. That's the thing. Well, as humans do. I think you just got to take that leap, mate. Look at me a year ago. It was a year ago that I left Fitzy and Whipper. Loved that job. Loved the boys. Mm. Fucking awesome. Yeah. But I just took a leap and just thought, you know what? It's Lulu's time to shine. Mm. Look at me now, Jack. You get to do this with a fuckwit. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Look, mate. I'm still going. But, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But if my bosses are listening... Staying true. We love the job. Correct. We love the job. We love the salary. The correct. We love the office morale. Don't actually do. Yeah. Well, no. I'd still like to come to the office, but you won't allow that. Um, I reckon I just call your boss. Hey, mate, can I pop in for a couple of hours on Friday? I wouldn't, but... Um, Maybe I just pop in. I wouldn't. Would he even know? It, it'd be quite obvious. You'll Would come it? in stinking a fucking alcohol... I don't have to come drunk. Try, well, you will, inevitably. No, That's I how could, you operate. I could and then, maybe this is what we do. I just rock up in like a suit, or well, not a suit, but like a, a corporate. nice corporate outfit yeah. and just sit down and just work. See what he does. See if anyone notices. Yeah, no, I think I'll leave this and my, uh, my other job separate, I reckon. I reckon we'll just keep them separated. Okay. And, yeah. But what if I just need like a workplace to work? It isn't happening. A workplace to work. Go to a fucking we work. You could just make your work that for me. <laughs> Probably could. We got the space. But if I know you who I were in, next to. if you were at my job, I know who I want to sit next to, and it's not you. Who is it? Oh, <laughs> don't, don't, don't. No, no. Sorry. If you were to come into my work, we'd do two fists of fuck all. <laughs> now, um, all right, bedwetters. That's it. Oh, we'll I see you on Friday. Go. Yeah, I, I know. Go. But I got we got errands. I got work. Oh. You got fucking shit you got to do. Well, Maybe today's the day I come to work. No, it isn't. Uh, we well, I, love need you. To, I need to go across the bridge anyway, so maybe I'll just come with you. Fuck cunt. It isn't happening. <laughs> and I've got to go up the same lift as you as well. As, you know what? I'm going to say, as one of the great, as Ranger Fuckhead said, Lou, fuck, fuck off. off. Well, you know what? You know what they say. And if Lou oh, won't, then you, you just get. Fine. F- fine. Get out. <sighs> if you get out of there, everything. G- Bridge over. So thanks for listening, crew. What an episode. The yeah. compliment off is one of the toughest things we've ever had to do. It was amazing, though. It was fucking lovely. I feel like my morale's boosted. My self esteem is up there. Same. You know what I mean? I feel good. Uh, oh, and keep pissing. Keep pissing, you mob. Keep pissing. Right up. Hooray. Ciao.